वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टूडे आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन इनिशियल कंडीशन ऑफ आर एल सर्किट टिल नाउ वी हैव सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन करंट डी आई बाई डी टी एंड डी स्क्वेयर आई बाई डी टी स्क्वेयर बट नाउ आई थिंक आई शुड गिव यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इन विच वी विल आइडेंटिफाई वोल्टेज वी डी वी बाई डी टी ओवर हीयर राइट सो लेट अस सी द प्रॉब्लम हीयर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हीयर वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ आर एल सर्किट वेर दिस इज रजिस्टेंस एंड इंडक्टन्स कनेक्टेड इन सर्किट एंड एट दिस नोड वोल्टेज इज वी हीयर दिस स्विच के दैट इज गेटिंग ओपन एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वी आर डिल विथ टू फाइंड वैल्यूज ऑफ वोल्टेज वी डी वी बाई डी टी एंड डी स्क्वेर वी बाई डी टी स्क्वेर एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो प्लस सो दिस स्विच इज ऑन बिफोर टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वी जस्ट मेक इट ऑफ एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इफ दिस स्विच इज ऑन दिस विल बी कंप्लीटली शॉर्ट सर्किट राइट सो दैर इज नो मीनिंग ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनी थिंग एज कंप्लीट सर्किट इज शॉर्ट सर्किटेड ओवर हीयर बट एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वॉट वी डू इज वी जस्ट मेक दिस स्विच के ऑफ लेट मी राइट दिस नव यू सी एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस स्विच के दैट इज ऑफ सो लेट मी एलिमिनेट दिस एज इट इज ऑफ एंड यू सी हियर we have this resistance and inductor that is connected in parallel with this current source of 10 ampere now initially what will happen as if you connect this current source across inductor at time t is equals to 0 this inductor that will act as a open circuit see if you connect battery in series with inductor for so longer duration then it will get short circuited but if you connect this current source in parallel with inductor initially at time t is equals to 0 this inductor that will act as a open circuit right and as if it is acting like a open circuit this voltage v that is simply as per v is equals to current source into resistance so you will be observing value of voltage v at time t is equals to 0 it will be current source i into resistance and current source is 10 and resistance is also 10 so voltage at time t is equals to 0 will be 100 voltage now if you observe our question then in question we are dealing with to find dv by dt and d square v by dt square so to identify dv by dt and d square v by dt square all we need is we don't need to consider only initial condition but here we need to make equation by using nodal analysis right so what i'll do is i'll again redraw this circuit and after that i'll apply nodal analysis let me show you how to do that now you see we have this current source and here we have node so at this node let us say we have this current that is i1 right through this link and through this link let us say current is i2 and through this link let us say current is i3 so at node v we will apply nodal analysis so entering current is equals to leaving current so entering current is i1 and that is equals to leaving current that is i2 plus i3 now let us substitute the values of current so current i1 that is there in the direction of current source and its value is 10 so let me place i1 is equals to 10 and i2 that is voltage divided by resistance so voltage across 10 ohm that is v and the resistance is 10 so i2 is v by 10 plus current i3 that is passing through inductor so current through inductor that will be 
is 1 by L integration V dt where V is voltage across inductor. Here voltage across inductor is V. So current through inductor that is 1 by L integration V dt. Here L is 1. So I can say integration V dt that is current passing through inductor. Right. So now we have this equation and if you see the question then in question we are ready with to find V dv by dt and d square v by dt square. We have already calculated value of V at time t is equals to 0. Now based on this equation we need to find dv by dt and d square v by dt square. So to find dv by dt let us say this is equation A and we will differentiate equation A with respect to time. So if you differentiate 10 with respect to time that will be 0 that is equals to differentiation of V with respect to time that is dV by dt and plus differentiation of integration that is that element only means this will be V only. Now you see we have the value of V at time t is equals to 0 which we have calculated that is 100 voltage right. So let us place that over here in this equation to get the value of dv by dt. So 1 by 10 dv by dt that will be minus v and if you substitute the value of v that is 100 then 10 will go on other side. So that will be minus 100 into 10 that is 1000 volt per second. So now we got the value of dv by dt at time t is equals to 0. Now all we want is we wanted to have d square v by dt square. So to get the value of d square v by dt square we can do differentiation of this equation. Let us say this is equation b with respect to time and we will be getting d square v by dt square. So let us differentiate equation b with respect to time t. So if you differentiate this equation with respect to time then dv by dt differentiation with respect to time will be d square v by dt square plus differentiation of v with respect to time that is dv by dt. Now we have the value of dv by dt at time t is equals to 0 just substitute that in this. So you will be getting 0 is equals to 1 by 10 d square v by dt square plus dv by dt that is minus 1000. So I am directly placing that is minus 1000 over here. So we will be getting the value of d square v by dt square and that will be this will go on other side. So 1000 into 10 that will be 10,000 volt per second square. So this is how we can identify the value of voltage at time t is equals to 0 with initial conditions and here very essential point that one should remember that is when you connect current source in parallel with inductor at the time initially it will act as an open circuit. I have seen students are making mistake and based on that they are having some trouble in solving questions. So here this one very small fundamental that I want to convey by this practical example. I hope you have understood this. Still if you have any further queries you just place that in comment box. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.